Hello everybody, back here again for vlog a day. Today is Friday the 26th and today was a stunningly beautiful day today. Absolutely gorgeous, sunny, a uh, little bit of breeze here and there. It actually got warm enough, got hot actually, got straight up hot to the point I actually turned the AC on. Probably would not have turned it on today, but my wife got sick at work, um, stomach issues stuff. I'm getting sick to her stomach, and she texted me and said she was not feeling good earlier and stuff, whatnot. And she has, um, I don't know, pacemaker, some other stuff. Pacemaker's kicking off earlier on in the day, so that always kind of sucks in the process. But went ahead and hello, how are you doing? Good, thank you. And went ahead. So when that happens, it usually messes with her overall body just kind of screws her up pretty bad when that happens so went ahead and as soon as she basically said she was giving up heading home um, I turned the AC on because when you're not feeling good you definitely don't want to deal with that and then add a hot ass house to it it adds that much more so but yeah so I went ahead turned the AC on um, went out looking for her car um, as like a anniversary gift how are you doing today better than I deserve thank you so I went out and looked at her a um, anniversary gift slash car thing. It's an old um, antique Fiat, but it's a turbo. And I guess the turbos are stupidly rare. Like they only made like two or 400 of them. They didn't make very many of the damn things. It's a silvery blue. It's beautiful. It's in very great condition. It's been repainted before. Uh, supposedly full remote motor rebuild, all kinds of stuff on it and whatnot, which he has, says he has all the paperwork, but I didn't look at him because I wasn't buying it yet. So that stuff will come up in a little more of a detail down the road if we do decide to do it. But the number one problem the car has, there's two little problems. One, it doesn't have cruise control, which I don't know if it'd be driving that car that much to justify really needing cruise not, but I love cruise, I use it all the time. But it does not have air conditioning. It does have a convertible top, and that is nice. But man, some of the things I enjoyed even when I have my convertibles is top down, AC blowing full blast. So when you're setting still at a stoplight, you still have that little bit of AC blowing on you, and it makes a big, big difference. So. We'll see, it's also like a $20,000 car, and it's from, you know, it's an antique as hell. So, I'm not sure if it's worth that, but the condition of, you know, I haven't seen a Fiat that nice, period, let alone a turbo Fiat, is just insanely rare. The gentleman, I guess, was a mechanic on the, you know, basically European, and you know, import cars for years, and had a gentleman come by, worked on a turbo, and determined at that moment he was gonna own one, and it took him four years to find one, finally he found this one. Gorgeous condition. He's just downsizing. He's since retired and stuff, and wanting to get rid of everything. So he's got a very insanely gorgeous old um, car that he's like two hundred thousand dollar car that he's gonna keep, and then dump off the little Fiat. So it is what it is. But yeah, went ahead from there. Um, went over, stopped by her work, checked on her. She was not doing great, but she was doing all right. And then she came home. We hung around a little bit. Ended up having a fish meal from Winn-Dixie that we had for dinner, hung out, played some pinball. It's getting to feel a little better, but never felt great. She didn't get sick to her stomach, which I just hate when that happens for her. But other than that, ended up outside, watched a little bit of TV out there, had a nice cigar, enjoyed the insanely gorgeous weather. And from there, wrapped it up, called it a night. So that's all I got for right now. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.